Hi everyone, this is Hank Chen for Asians on Film. Right next to me is Matt Eskandari, filmmaker, producer, and he's got a new film out with Bai Ling and Dustin Nguyen. Right, what's it called? Oh, the film is actually called The Gauntlet. Mm, and it's a horror film. It's, well, it's a hybrid genre. We call it like a horror action adventure. Is how we well, the film is uh, set in an underground dungeon. It's basically about these five strangers who get trapped and the, they wake up in this underground dungeon. Mm -hmm. They don't know why they're there, what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, they all they come from different walks of life. Right. Violin plays like this 30-year-old uh, 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 gym instructor who, you know, she's dressed in a uh, gym outfit the whole movie, which is kind of cool. That's funny. Yeah, it's great. So every character, you know, they're from different walks of life, they're trapped in this underground dungeon, they're trying to figure out why are they there, what's the reason. So, mm -hmm. you know, through the course of the movie, they bond, they become closer, you figure out a little bit about their past, <laughs> they, you're unsure, are they in hell, like what's going on here, mm -hmm. they're obviously, there's these traps that are set up for them. So it has, like we like to call it like a, like a, a cube meets... Um, it feels a little bit like soft. A little bit, yeah, soft, yeah, 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 a little bit. It has a little bit of soft flavor, but not yeah. so much. It's more, I mean, it's a classic archetypal kind of mm -hmm. um, survival story. So that's mm -hmm. what we like to say. It's like a survival story. So, right, right. And, you know, and it kind of builds up from there. And then there's, you know, a cool twist at the end as to why they're there. And, and each character has a reason. And they learn through the course of the movie that there's something within themselves. And it's, it's a self-exploration right. for each character right. as to why they're there and what they truly are meant to be and what led them to that. Yeah. You've got Bai Ling and Dustin Nguyen as your two main leads, mm -hmm. and they're both Asian. Heck, Asians on film. Right. That's why we're here. Uh, wh what was that casting choice? And and tell me about that process, and also about your own experience being an ethnic minority working in Hollywood. Well, the the character, the bias character, actually, her character in the script was written as a blonde white woman. Interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah, she was supposed to be kind of like this white blonde. Uh, but I could pull that off. She's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was the original uh, impetus for the character, and the casting director actually, he's like, "Have you ever thought of someone like Bai Ling for this role?" And I was like, "What?" You know, I was like, "I don't know about that. Let me think about that." Did you not know her before? I know. I've no. I'm really familiar with Bai. I love but I mean, her work. You, you didn't have a relationship. He's, I didn't know her. No. Thrown I, in, and then you were like, "Huh, I will take a meeting to see what yeah, happens." Yeah, exactly, Got exactly. It. I'd known about her. I've seen her work. I was a fan of her stuff. So I was like, "Wait a second. That's not what." The character was written, and the character Dustin's character was written as already as an Asian in the film. So, like, we already got one Asian, you know. Like, we don't want to have two, you know. Like, we were just like, interesting. How's that going to play into the right, film, and right, right. you know all that. So then I was like, let me meet with Bai, and you know, when we met, when I met with her, and she had just just an amazing take on the character, mm. and she just seemed so passionate that um, she seemed like a perfect fit, and she brought a lot of intensity and and coolness to the role, which was really needed. Mm -hmm. So. I think it was great, you know, to have those two characters and her and Dustin's character have an interesting relationship that builds throughout the course of the movie. Yeah. That was really cool, I think, and, and the nuances to the performance that they brought was really incredible to watch. We had a, I had three Asian American producers mm -hmm. that helped, uh, you know, put the film together and produce the film. And, you know, when we cast Dustin Wynn to play one of the key roles in the film, we also were thinking about casting Bai Ling. And there was this conversation, we're like, oh, are we allowed to have multiple Asians in this movie? You the answer's no, you're in Hollywood. The answer's yeah. no. So it's but an American. Fought through. <laughs> so it's an American yeah. Hollywood production. So yeah. like, can we do that? You right. know, is it going to be weird? You know, like, what are, what are the audience going to think? So we're just like, you know what? Let's, you know, once I met with Bai, she had such an incredible take on the character mm -hmm. that it was like, you know what? Let's do it, you know, let's break the mold here, let's mm -hmm. do something different. I mean, you look at modern day franchises like Fast and the Furious, I mean, it's all about international cast, right. and diversity, and appealing to as many people as possible, and kind of drawing from different cultures. So I think that's really the future of filmmaking, future of art and entertainment is tapping into as many different cultures and, and, uh, and in, in groups as you can, because that's what you're trying to do, to appeal to a mass audience. So. Is everyone touring the Hollywood Hills right now? I'm gonna start shooting these these planes down. I can't even believe this. This is like the sixth plane during your interview. I haven't had any all morning. Really? That's funny.